Hey guys, welcome back to Chapter 3, Part 2. I'm talking through my teeth because I have to record this again! Because I don't know where the fuck it went, it did not get uploaded, so now I have to uh, reshoot it, then re-upload it, and it's gonna take me fucking forever. So, I don't want to waste any more time, let's hurry up and get this over with. Oh my god. Nile, oh, okay. Awesome laughs. Is going to Vegas like your plan to get a better guy? Maybe one doesn't care so much about his looks. Nile laughs pretty much. Austin, Austin, Nile, you're such a hot mess. Nile, hey, you're gonna hate it. Austin, that's really funny because you're Irish. Niall, you suck. Austin, I do. Nick, I do suck. Nick, every day. Niall, I don't want to hear about your better mixed experience with Nick Jonas. Austin, whatever. Now, isn't he supposed to be a good Christian boy? And have fluity rings and shit? Austin, well, they aren't exactly public, and he's in the closet, kind of. I mean, the only people who know he's bi is his family and some of his close friends. Now, so what happened when his manager thinks he needs more publicity and make him date Demi Lovato? A.N. I don't believe Nick and Demi should be together in real life. Well, I did until they started dyeing her, ha her hair eight trillion colors. So, likely I shall long live Demi. Austin, why does it have to be Demi? Now, because they would be cute together. Austin, so are me and him not cute together? Nile, well, yeah, but you're no Demi Lovato. Austin, fuck you. Nile, sorry, bro, but it's true. Austin's phone rings j and just stares at it. Nile, are you gonna answer it? Austin, oh, um, it's Nick. Nile, gimme. Takes the phone and answers it. Hello? Nick, um, hey, is Austin around? Now he's asleep. He's been a long ride for him and. If you get what I mean, Nick, I'm sorry, what? Near Niall, clearly we fucked. Austin, oh my god, Niall. Take the phone back from him. Hey, baby. Nick, who was that? Austin, Niall. Nick, oh, okay, so... So are you two there yet? No, Niall is driving like two miles an hour. Nick, why'd you drive? You guys could've just took a jet. Austin, well, sorry, Mr. Popstar, next time I'll make the first... I'll make that the first thing to do on my to-do list. Nick laughs. Good. I miss you, baby. Austin, I would miss me, too. Nick, clearly you need to be punished when you get back. Austin, I might. Now I'll take the phone from Austin. Bye, Nick! Hangs up. Austin, what the hell? He was now. I don't want to know. Austin's phone beeps. He's texting you. Austin, he just he just wants to know what hotel we're staying at. Niall, ugh. Austin, would you like to hold my phone captive? Would that make you happy? Niall, very. Takes the phone from uh, takes the phone, puts it in his pocket. Austin, can I drive? I'm so bored. Now, yeah, my hand is cramping and I'm hungry. Austin, you're always hungry. Niall, whatever. Gets off the freeway and parks the car at Carlos Jr. Carlos Jr. Austin, can you get me something? Anything at all. Niall, KK. 15 minutes later, Niall gets in the car with four giant bags. Austin! What did you get? The entire place? Now, no, you're s no you, silly duckling. Austin, I worry about you. Like, what if you go into cardiac arrest? Now, I won't. Now, drive. We gotta get... We gotta get there sometime. Austin, we... No, we don't. Austin... Yes, we do. I need to find a very hot person to hook up with there. Austin, you're such a hot mess. Niall, I am very hot, but a mess, I am not. Austin, is that what your mom told you? Niall, ha ha ha. With Patty, sitting on her computer, chatting on a dating website, Blank walks in. Hey, hey, do you need something? Your maid let me in. What's going on? Patty, nothing, Jeremy. Why can't you just go away? Jeremy Bieber. Don't be like that, Pat. What's up with Justin? Patty, he's in Canada. Jeremy, let me rephrase that. What's going on with you and Justin? 
Patty, nothing. He's just acting out. So I thought, so I sent him, so I thought I sent him to his grandparents, and he decided to stay there. Jeremy, so why did he call me crying, begging to move in with me? Patty, I don't know. He doesn't tell me anything anymore. Jeremy, and Jeremy, he said you hated him. I, I never said that. Jeremy, well, he wouldn't make that up. So, it has to be something you're doing. Patty, why are you even questioning my parenting skills? Go back to your whore and your kids. Jeremy, because, because he's my son too. Patty, you didn't even seem to believe that when you walked out on us. Jeremy, I didn't. I was trying to get my act together and stuff happened. Patty, just, just happened? You left me along a while I was pregnant and fighting drug addiction, Jeremy. I know, and to be honest, I would never do it. Look how amazing he turned out, and it's all because of you, Patty. I don't think you would have been even better if you were there. Jeremy, no, Scooter's been the perfect dad. I'm just a failure. Pair, oh, Jay, you aren't. Gets up and hugs him. Jeremy, yes, I am. Starts to cry. Patty comforts him. Jeremy, God, Patty, where did everything go wrong? Patty laughs. It's not... It's never been right. Things have always been hard. Jeremy, you're such e you're such an easy person to talk to. God, Patricia, I miss you too. I miss you so much. Patty, I miss you too. Jeremy leans in slowly and kisses her. Patty kisses back and wraps her arms around his neck. Jeremy wraps his arms around her waist and pull then pulls away. I never stopped loving you, Patty. I love you too. Kisses him again. A few months later, school box in the house. Babe, you home? Patty pulls away from the kiss. Yeah, you should go. Jeremy, all right, I will talk, we will talk later. Scooter walks in, hey, who's, oh, hey, Jeremy, long time no see. Jeremy, yep, well, gotta run, hugs Patty and hug, then hugs Scooter and leaves. Scooter kisses Patty, I was, I was thinking we were going on the mini vacation after we dropped Justin off at the airport, and I, and don't worry about packing, anything, it's all been taken care of. Patty, Scooter, I can't, I can't just leave. I have things to do. Scooter, it's only a few days, and it's all, and I've also taken care of work. Patty, um, I still can't go. Jeremy and I just made plans for tomorrow. Scooter, okay, so we can just leave after that. Patty, oh my God, Scooter, I can't. I don't want to. I'd rather chew off my own foot. Scooter, okay, um, I gotta get back to work. Kisses, kisses her cheek. Patty walks away trying not to. Kisses her cheek and walks away trying not to cry. Patty calls Jeremy. I left five minutes ago, and you already want me back, Patty. I need some speed. I'll meet you. I'll meet you at three, Patty. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, thank God. With Justin. Justin. Well, it's three thirty. So how about we break and meet at five five o'clock? Vin. Vin. Sounds good. My throat is getting sore, Mason. Yeah, I'm starving, Kay, and I'm feeling the both of those. They all go down to the parking garage, then go, go their separate ways. When Justin gets home, Justin, Mom, I'm home. Goes upstairs in the room. Ma, you in here? Sees something in the bathroom, kinda. Kinda, and then goes and to check it out. Sees Patty lying in the ground. Mom shakes her, starts to cry. Mommy, please. Wake up. Calls 911. My mom, she's unconscious. Please help me. 911 operator, please relax. Sweetheart, someone is on their way. Are there any signs of cuts or drugs used anywhere? Justin breathing heavily and looking around. Um, there's a needle, but I don't see anything else. 911. Okay, they're almost there. Why don't you just go downstairs and wait for an ambulance? Justin, okay, comment, sh vote, share, blah, 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 blah. Hope you all like this. That's kind of scary if you ask me. So, um, tune in tomorrow for chapter 4, part 1 and 2. So, bye. <laughs>